What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we are going to be answering the question of how to randomize a list in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. Okay, so like I mentioned today, we are randomizing lists in Python. So what you're probably looking for is something like, hey, you have this current list and you wanna shuffle it up. You wanna mix it up, make it so it's not just, you know, one through 10, but it's randomized. It's all completely different in a completely different order. Um, Python actually provides you a really easy way to do this. And I'm gonna show you how to do this, but I kinda wanna show you the setup and what we're going and kind of the output that we're going to get and then i'll go through and show you this little magic function that i wrote that'll basically write a randomized list for you so first off you need to import random um that is the pack the python package that we're going to be using today that's going to do all of this magic for us and then essentially I have this setup where we have an initial list it's just one through ten and then we're going to print out the original list and right here i'm just doing some you know I like to call it my debugging, you know, helper statement where I'm just going to create a line of uh, dashes and then wrap that at the top and the bottom of this so I can kind of separate out kind of where it looks like. And then we're going to go and create a randomized list. So when we run this, the output of it should be something like this. You get the original one through 10 and then the randomized six, seven, eight, four, five, one, nine, 10, two, three. So you can see it's been shuffled around. So that's what we're going to produce today. So without further ado, let's hop right in and see what this randomized list function is actually doing. Okay, so how is this, you know, function right here creating this randomized list that we're getting? Well, like I mentioned before, um, and I actually deleted this contents of this list out because I want to write it with you, but essentially it's utilizing random. So what's nice about this is, is if we come in here to this function, we are accepting a list in. So basically we're going to accept a list in and we want to do the randomization and then we want to return the list out. So that's the goal of, of what we're going to do today. And the nice thing is, is random. If I do random dot, now you can see all of the functions that the random class allows us to do. Um, we can do all these different things, choices, any random bytes, random ints, which in the previous video I showed you how to create a random number generator. Um, but then there's this um, function called shuffle. Now what shuffle does is it shuffles a list X in place and returns none. So basically whatever list that you put in here. So for instance, if I take shuffle and I give it our list object, it's going to shuffle everything in place. The return of this is going to be nothing. So we don't need to worry about that. But that just means that when we say in place, that means that this list object is going to get modified as is. And then the output of that list object is going to like, if it comes to the next line, I say return list, this will now be the randomized list. So if I run this again, you'll see that boom, I get a randomized list. So there you go, folks. That's, it's super simple. Python, I love Python. Um, and especially all the packages that people done or have already made like random and how they've applied it to the Python um, base library where all you have to do is call import random shuffle or random dot shuffle on your list and then output that and then just keep going with that current list value. And now you have a shuffled list and a you know mixed up list that was not the same as the original as you can tell here. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video and it's helpful, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't subscribed. And until next time, keep on programming. Bye.